In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for Zn plus AgNO3. This is zinc plus silver nitrate. When we look at the reaction, we see we have a metal here and a metal here. So we're thinking if we have a metal by itself and then a metal bonded to this polyatomic ion or another element, we might have a single displacement reaction. So the metal, the zinc, would come and it would push the silver out. Then the silver, it's all by itself, the zinc, it's now with the nitrate. So we have the zinc nitrate. So this would be a single replacement reaction. With single replacement reactions, we do need to check and see if the zinc is active enough to push the silver out in this reaction. So if we look at the activity series here, we'll find zinc, which is right here, and then silver's way down the bottom. So silver is really not very reactive here. Zinc is going to be a lot more reactive, so zinc will be able to push the silver out and get the nitrate here. So this is a single replacement and it does happen. This also is what we call a redox reaction. So if we wrote in the oxidation states for each element, we would see that zinc, it's a free element, so it has an oxidation state of zero. It comes over here, loses two electrons, becomes a plus two. The silver plus one, it gains an electron, becomes Ag with an oxidation state of zero since it's a free element. So it's also a redox reaction where electrons are changed. Finally, let me balance this equation quickly here because I see that there are two nitrates here and only one here. So I'll put a two in front of the silver nitrate, two in front of the silver. So the equation is balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for Zn plus AgNO3, zinc plus silver nitrate. It's a single replacement reaction and it's also a redox reaction. Thanks for watching.